Welcome to Stories by AI. I'm your host, Danny Brown, and every week I'll input a random idea into an AI tool and ask it to create a story around that idea. So switch your ears on, sit back, and get ready for a different kind of storytelling. And be sure to follow for free on your favourite podcast app so you never miss an episode. And now, this week's story. Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a kind and generous king who always put the needs of his people before his own. The villagers loved and respected him for his selflessness and compassion. One day, a terrible drought struck the village, causing crops to fail and leaving the people with nothing to eat. The king, determined to help his people, set out on a journey to find a solution. After many days of travel, the king came across a wise old sage who lived in a cave in the mountains. The sage told the king of a magical spring that had the power to end the drought, but it was located in a far-off land and protected by a fierce dragon. The king knew that this was the only way to save his people, so he set out on a brave quest to slay the dragon and bring back the water from the spring. After a long and dangerous journey, the king finally arrived at the dragon's lair, but when he looked into the dragon's eyes, he saw only fear and sadness. The dragon explained that he had been placed there by a wicked sorcerer to guard the spring, and he had no desire to harm anyone. The king, filled with compassion, devised a plan to help the dragon break free from the sorcerer's curse. Together, they journeyed to the sorcerer's castle and defeated him, freeing the dragon from his curse. As a token of gratitude, the dragon led the king to the spring and let him take as much water as he needed. The king filled his vessels with the clear, cool water and brought it back to the village, where it ended the drought and saved his people. The villagers were overjoyed and thanked the king for his kindness and bravery. They realised that true strength comes not from violence and aggression, but from compassion and understanding. From that day on, The village was known as a place of kindness and generosity, and the king was loved and respected even more than before. Thanks for listening. If you enjoy Stories by AI, be sure to share it with friends so they can enjoy it too. And leave a five-star rating on your favourite podcast app. That's always appreciated.